Could artificial mini glaciers bring water to the driest, coldest places on Earth, for example, Mongolia? Glaciers are not just spectacular indicators of climate change as they shrink and disappear because of global warming. They're also, for many communities, an irreplaceable source of fresh water. During the melting season in summer, a portion of the mountain glacier surface releases water that is essential to the ecosystem in the valleys below, supplying vast cities and industries in places like South America and India. But this meltwater is also essential to many remote rural communities for drinking water and crop irrigation. These include those living in the Ladakh Valley, a beautiful 470-kilometer valley sandwiched between the greater Himalayan and Karakoram mountain ranges, home to about 300,000 people, up to 4,000 miles uh, meters, sorry, above sea level. Now, these iconic ranges have an abundance of glaciers, but large areas also fall within the monsoon rain shadow zone, and that means that they are extremely arid because rain is blocked by the mountains. The Ladakh Valley is one of the most arid and coldest mountain ranges in the world, with annual rain and snowfall rarely exceeding 100 millimeters, little more than the Sahara Desert, and winter temperatures are as low as minus 30 degrees Celsius. Severe weather water shortages are a fundamental issue for the people who live in this cold desert. Their existence relies on the sources and the success of their crops which can only be cultivated over a few short months of the year, often irrigated by diverted glacier meltwater. But climate change over the past decades has meant that glaciers in the region have been shrinking or disappearing altogether at a worrying rate, thus reducing the short growing season even further. An increasingly viable solution to the problem is the construction of ice stupas Artificial glaciers built uh, to store winter water for use in the arid months of late spring and early summer when meltwater is scarce. It was invented in 2013 by engineer Sonam Wanchuk in Ladakh. The idea is to conserve this tower of ice as long into the year as possible so that as it melts it feeds and the fields until the real glacier meltwater start flowing again late later in the summer. In a collaboration with the Jawaharlal Nehru University in New Delhi, India, he says our cryosphere and climate change research group has been conducting a study looking at 2,200 glaciers in the wider Ladakh region. We found that 86% have experienced a rise in the height of the snow line of about 300 meters over the past 42 years. This rate has increased to almost 10 meters a year over the last two decades. Combined with dry winters, this situation has led to frequent and extended droughts, which are now threatening life-sustaining crops and in rural communities. And unsurprisingly, enter villages. Entire villages have already been abandoned and will be soon. The wider issues can only be resolved through the action of governments and society as a whole. So many hopes are pinned on positive outcomes from COP26, but any solutions to augment the limited and now declining glacial, uh, glacier-derived meltwater could help guarantee sustainable future for these communities. Locally, ice stupas offer an answer, or at least a partial way to offset the effect of shrinking glaciers in the short term, and using basic and inexpensive techniques a conical shape, a structure of wood and steel is built and then gravity rather than electricity is used to bring water diverted from a nearby, the nearby streams during the rainy season and sprayed in, this into the air like a, a fountain. Now the sub-zero temperatures quickly freeze the water into the conical shape so that the mass of the ice begins to grow. The end result has the same high narrow dome shape typical of Buddhist shrines, hence the stupa, part of the name, which slows down subsequent melting because the surface area exposed to the sun in warm temperatures is minimized. When the warmer arid growing season arrives, the lower altitude streams quickly dry up and there is little water available again until June, 
when the glaciers provide meltwater again. It's in this crucial window that the ice stupas start melting, offering an invaluable source of water for irrigation early in the growing season, extending the cropping season by a few weeks, which makes all the difference in this extreme agricultural environment. Constructing artificial ice reserves is not new, but in the past these were built in less efficient shapes and much higher up in the mountains, making them difficult to manage. And now these ice stupas are built next to where the water is needed most, right on the outskirts of villages near, the, near fields. The size and shape make them particularly efficient, inexpensive and easy to maintain, and they are able to produce millions of liters of water every year. We're now hoping to explore how stupas can best be used to, track, to tackle the problem. Our project, they say, is still in its infancy, and more work is needed to improve some technical aspects. These include finding further sites, both in the Ladakh region and other parts of the world, ways to avoid water freezing in the supply pipelines, and how best to distribute water to the many villages and other users by establishing a long-lasting collaboration with local stupa, ice stupa teams and research uh, colleagues, we hope to provide some of the solutions. This was on the conversation, and it was written here uh, under Creative Commons on Live Science by Matteo Spangolo. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.